What up, world? This is DJ I Am Yulisa with DJ Talk. Tips for beginners for all my female DJs out there. But before we start, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button right here, right here, right here. But please go, go subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, let me know what you think. So let's get started. Tip number one, numero uno, is do your research, ladies. Yes, do your research. Um, for me, it was Google and YouTube. I steady was reading Google uh, articles about DJs. They didn't have too many female DJs, to be honest with you, like articles about them. They had some YouTube videos about them, but obviously men were taking over because now we are. But um, definitely watch a lot of YouTube videos before I really start asking any of my DJ um, homies about... DJ. So please, please, all your beginners out there, do your research before you ask any DJ anything. Okay? Tip number two find out what kind of DJ you want to be. If you grew up listening to country music and that's all you know, and you think that you know what it takes for to get the people out there dancing, then get into really DJing country music. For me, it was hip-hop. I love hip-hop music, but obviously in my household, I always heard salsa, merengue. So, I like that, but I knew for sure that I, I know what kind of music people like to hear in a hip-hop scene. So, now I've actually transitioned my way to an open format DJ where I play everything, incorporate everything. I love playing reggae, reggaeton, um, Afro music. So, yeah, find out what kind of DJ you want to be. Tip number three, very crucial because the pockets are involved in this one. Tip number three, buying your equipment. For me, um, I was a little tight. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was a little tight, but I wanted to buy, I was ready to buy my equipment, you know. So I did some of my research and my homie suggested I should get the NS7, uh, the Newmark NS7. It's right here. It was not a go for me. I had it about two months. Uh, I dropped it because it was so heavy. It's literally so heavy for a woman to carry that, honestly. So it did not work for me. So what I got was the Pioneer SX, SX2. It's right here. I can never pronounce it, but yeah, it's right here. That's my baby. Oh my God. I'm not saying, somebody was trying to buy it for me and I said, no, uh-uh. I'm always forever going to keep it. My child, my, my kids are going to play with it. I just love that controller. That's my baby. But since, since I'm starting to get more years under me, I had to upgrade. So now I have the, I don't even, I never know how to say it, y'all, for real. I never, and people always ask me, what kind? The Pioneer SZ2, SZ2 controllers right here, y'all. So I have that, and I love it. Oh, my God, I just love it. Now I'm ready for some turntables, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm just ready to get more into scratching and just doing more, more things. But I do want a set of turntables. I'm probably just going to always have it at home because traveling with all that stuff is just not for me. Especially when I got speakers with me. All that stuff. But, yeah, buying your first equipment is very, very crucial, especially when you're on a budget. So make sure you do your research. And for me, I recommend you ladies to get the Pioneer S. X2. Okay. Tip number four. After you gain this knowledge and you watch tons of YouTube video and you picked up and you made notes, I need you guys to practice. Practice, practice, practice. I practice to this day, you know, and for me a form of practice is doing mixes. And I just love it. Like I love um practicing and getting behind it, you know. So always, always practice because as Females were always, I, maybe in this game, I feel that we need to go harder and need to prove ourselves, you know, because, oh, you just got that gig because you're pretty, blah, blah, blah. No, I got skills too. And I know what, I know what the crowd wants to hear. I'm a woman. I know what a guy want to hear and I know what a girl want to hear. So, so make sure you practice. So nobody can ever say you don't know how to blend. You don't know how to mix. You don't know how to do little baby scratch, whatever. Just make sure that you practice. 
tip number five is one of that one of the questions that I always get how do I get gigs well here's a good tip for you all all females out there and even men if you're watching this tip number five go out and network yes ne they're not gonna come to you you got to be in people's faces. You literally got to go. If you're not a going on person, I honestly don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell If you got a huge following on IG because maybe you're so pretty or whatever the case may be. And people are reaching out to you that you don't need to go out to, to events or support other DJs. Then man, you got it. But for real... The hustle is real. The grind is real. You need to go out there and support other DJs. You need to go out there and make sure that you shake hands, kiss babies. It's very, very important for you to do that. Because then they'll recognize, oh, you know, she's working hard. Pass out business cards. Brand yourself. Create a logo. You know you know what I'm saying? But make sure you network. Shake hands. Buy people a drink. Well, not buy people drinks, but if you can afford to buy a couple people drinks that you think that they, they can hire you if they're already promoters, if they're already like doing parties and events, let them know, hey, can I open up, give me a 30 minute set or something, you know what I'm saying? But I, nobody's going to reach out to you if you're at home. I'm just saying, like a lot of these ladies that, um, that are asking, how can I get gigs? Well, you got to go out there and promote yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you need to go out there and network. So, that's five tips right there for you ladies to get started. I will give more video about DJing. Uh, possibly a little bit what I've learned. Uh, blending, mixing. I will upload some more videos. But for now, take these five tips to heart. You know, I've watched a lot of videos. They didn't cater to women. So I'm catering this to my female women, my female DJs that want to get started, that don't know where to look, don't know where to get, don't know, oh, well, how do I do this? I'm telling you, you need to work hard for this. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you can have all the talent in the world, but you need to practice. And it, I don't, I don't know about the saying about the talent I, then I had a good saying my bad y'all but you know if you have talent you need to practice show it off make sure that you network make sure that you know what you're doing you know um read and before you hit up any dj about little stuff like what kind of program should i use they're just gonna be like I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to you a lot of us DJs get irritated but these little ass questions i'm not gonna be mean and be like what the fuck dude i mean what the heck? Do your research. I'm just going to tell you, Serato DJ Pro. But honestly, you should know that if you've been doing your research. And we don't want to look stupid out here because, you know, men, they'll take anything to make us look stupid. So make sure you do all these five tips. I will give you more videos about DJing. And um, good luck out there, ladies. I want to see us take over. Take over the world. Take over these. Push these men away. Or make them open for us. Because we want to be the closer at the end. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I love you all. Thank you.